the gaming couch. It's me, Matt. It's time for the finale of Outlast. Yes, it is sadly going to be the end of Outlast, this part. It's been a fun ride, I will say that. <laughs> it's been a good ride. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. <clears throat> Let's get this finished. Oh. So, how are you guys today? Hope you guys enjoyed the long the long tastic episode of part 9. Billy's patient reports he ought to be 23 years old. He looks at least 50 years of rough road pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Ah! Okay, this is probably the last document. That was probably the last note, too. Um, to avoid patient injury. The morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital system 1. The enriched oxygenated perfluorocarbon from the life support fluid reserve must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient. To potentially disrupt the patient. Vital system 2. Electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital system 3. In the case of a catastrophic loss of vital sy systems 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage, main maintaining localized minimum life support functions until the technicians can arrive. Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, look at you. Alright, let's get this over with. that way. Oh, there's a battery. Oh, look at that. Stocked up on batteries. Full on battery at the end of the game. That's how things should be. Whoa. Hey there. How you doing? Oh. I'm guessing that must have been a terminated patient. Ugh. Looks like someone broke out of this one or something. Let's see. Blood splattered on the wall. No surprise. Oh, I lied. Here's another note. <laughs> This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support, a machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Foop it all. Break it all. He has to die. Wow. Um... Okay. I'm surprised. What's his face? The wall rider hasn't showed up. Uh, I lied again. Here's another document. <laughs> From the personal records of Donner, Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein, or the Modern Prometheus, by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, Chapter 4, Excerpt. 
Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier the modest man that he who aspires to become greater than his nat his nature allows. Ah, ah, crazy stuff. Oh, I hear him though. I hear Billy. I'm guessing the wall rider is supposed to be Billy. Do not turn valve. Screw your rules. Oh god. You better get going. This music is bumping. No sense in trying to close doors, he's a ghost. <laughs> doesn't get the, the ever long thinking to fly. Ah. Stairs. Oh. Going around in circles. Come on, where's the top? I don't have to worry about ru ru savoring my flashlight. Go. Yeah, this I don't have to worry about savoring my flashlight that much. Just for the fact that, ooh, document. Just for the fact that I've got two bra two batteries, and this is more than like it, more than likely this is the end of the game. So. Please find the attached permission to proceed from patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado, USA. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfound of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Berenike has, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. Okay. Supercomputers. I think. I think they are. What else would they be? Oh. Press square to rip out cables of the sublab generator. Let's do it. Oh. Expected a lot. <laughs> oh. Expected a lot worse uh, <laughs> reaction. I can understand that. Well, let's head back down and let's finish this. Let's finish this. <sighs> I know that wall rider is going to be waiting on the other side. Don't you open door. <sighs> okay. One, two, no three, two and a quarter. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez, um, what happened here? Ah, oh, my timer bugged out. Hang on a second, guys. Come on, you thing. Work. Work for me. Aha, there we go. Okay. Man, why does this thing decide to bug out at the end of the game? Why didn't it happen at the start of the game? Stupid technology. Hopping and skipping away we go! Oh! Ooh! Uh. 
any time can't be too far behind not waste any time I know you just dropped like 500 feet but come up here and push the button yeah Just, just do possess him or something? Get out. Oh. Go, Miles. Go. You see, I remember your name. and that's all I could think of is that it took him over well not took him over but come on get that camera back out come on Miles push it to the limit go 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 we ended whatever project is going on in here. Oh, this is automatic. Okay. <clears throat> well, whatever was going on in this place was ended. Whoa. What? for the ending. What? Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. So. Swipe the hands of completion. That is Outlast, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, it was actually kind of good to go back into this game. Like I said, the last time I played this game at the start was way back when it came out. It was definitely worth to go back in again. Um, I'm glad to revisit this game. Now, there what there is DLC for this. Uh, what is it? The whistleblower, I believe. We might get into it not sure I have it we'll see I know I got to get ready to take a break here myself because I've got my new job that's got to start so we'll see what happens here um, Dylan will keep going on Mario as far as I know um, unless he has other plans to do something I'm not sure 
Um, all right. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride of Outlast. And thank you for joining me, Matt, on the gaming couch. And I hope you all have a good day. And I will see you guys in the next episode. The next series, I should say. Take care, everybody.